Okay, 125.3, these are the exercises. We'll start with number one. I'm still gonna rely upon what I do know. And what I do know, I notice a cubic polynomial and the general shape of it, it's a leading coefficient of a positive one. It's gonna go straight up to the right, straight down to the left. I know that much about it. So I know there's at least one root there, all right? Now, of course, it's a cubic polynomial. I know there's three roots to it, all right? Now, what's the y-intercept? The y-intercept is going to be two. All right. So looking at this point over here, you know, if I were looking at it, my, my imagination would tell me, oh, maybe it looks something where it goes through that, comes back over here and does something like this over here. All right. But that's, that's not conclusive at this point. So what do we do? We're going to use Descartes rule of signs. I've done this in the past. And that's going to be, let's put this f of x down. And that's going to be x cubed plus 3x squared minus 7x plus 2, all right? So I'm going to write the signs down, plus, plus, minus, plus. So what do we get over here? There's one sign change here. There's one sign change here. So s equals 2. So what could p equal? p could be 0 or p could be 2, all right? Now, what I'm saying is there may be no positive roots or there may be two positive roots, all right? Let's do the rotated version of it and see what we get over there. Get minus x cubed plus 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. So what do you get over here? You're going to get minus plus 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 s equals 1. So that means there's only one negative root, all right? We'll look at the picture later, by the way. So I'm pretty convinced <coughs> that I have only one root on this side, all right? The question is, you know, where is it? Well, let, let's just do f of minus 1. That's a positive number. I got these written down for us. So we might as well use them. It's, it's frustrating. I realize that. So 11, that's positive. Minus 2 is positive. Minus 3 is positive. Minus 4 is positive. But once you get to minus 5, it goes below. All right? So I know there's a root. And what root do I know? I know there's a root when it's changing signs. It's by the intermediate value theorem. And the Carville of signs tell me there's only one there, which is good news for me. because so now I know there's a root. There's one root on the interval. And the interval is going to be between minus 5 and minus 4. All right, so what I'm going to do now is, is um, go in the other direction, all right? Now, in the other direction, you know, I'm going to positive numbers now. We've been doing this for some time now, and let's talk about that. So again, f of 0 is positive. That's what we have over here. And as soon as I get to f of 1, it's going to be negative. Now, what does that tell me? It went back down. So there's a root over here. There's got to be another root. Where's the other root going to be? Well, if I went to 2, it goes that positive. And there on out, it's going to be positive. So we found our two positive roots. So we have a root. x is on the interval between 0 and 1. And we have another root on the interval between 1 and 2. Whoops. All right, let's look at the picture. That's 329. Oh, by the way, this stuff is written down for you. I want to look at the picture. And we're seeing what we expected to see. All right? All right. If you need to reach out to me, my name is Ron Bannon. My email address is Bannon. That's B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. All right? Thank you for paying attention.